Asexual versus Sexual Reproduction by KScience.com. This here is a female sheep with black hair on its head and long legs. Because it's a female sheep, its gamete is going to be an egg. And it's a haploid cell with a haploid number of chromosomes in the nucleus. This here is a male sheep with white hair on its head and short legs. And this here is the gamete from the male sheep. It is a sperm cell. And this sperm cell has a haploid number of chromosomes in its nucleus. So during sexual reproduction, these two sheep are going to have sex. And the gametes are going to fuse together. So the egg cell and the sperm cell will fuse to form a zygote. And it will form a diploid zygote with two sets of chromosomes, one from each parent. So the offspring formed is not going to be genetically identical to its parents. You can see that here. And we can see that the offspring is not genetically identical to either parent because it's got variation, a difference in characteristics. So it's got the black hair from mum and the short legs from dad. So offspring produced by a sexual reproduction show variation. So there's variation in the offspring. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is compared to asexual reproduction. So this here is a cell. And in the cell is a diploid number of chromosomes. So there are two sets of chromosomes in this cell. So asexual reproduction is the formation of offspring without the need for sex. So this cell will divide and split into two identical offspring. And as you can see here, it produces offspring which are genetically identical to the parent. So asexual reproduction only requires one parent, whereas sexual reproduction requires two parents. So during sexual reproduction, there is a fusion of gametes. There is a fusion of gametes, in this case, sperm and egg cells. And during asexual reproduction, there is no fusion of gametes. Sexual reproduction, you can see here, the offspring are not genetically identical to the parents because the offspring show variation. Whereas during asexual reproduction, the offspring are genetically identical to parents. And we call the offspring clones of the parents. Clones. Clones are genetically identical. Examples of asexual reproduction are mitosis in cells and also bacteria that divide by binary fission. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what are the pros and cons of sexual reproduction? The first advantage of sexual reproduction is that there is genetic variation in the offspring. This genetic variation increases the chances of adapting and surviving in changing environments. And also, humans can use selective breeding to breed for desired characteristics. The disadvantages of sexual reproduction is that the organisms need to find a mate to breed with. So if an organism doesn't find a mate, it cannot breed. So another disadvantage for sexual reproduction. So it requires more energy for sexual reproduction and also more time than asexual reproduction. So it takes longer. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
let's now discuss the pros and cons of asexual reproduction. Advantages of asexual reproduction is that only one parent is required. It uses less energy and requires a lot less time than sexual reproduction. It is faster than sexual reproduction. And many offspring are produced quickly. The disadvantages of asexual reproduction is that there is no genetic variation between the offspring. Therefore, it's hard for the offspring to cope if the environment changes. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.